welcome back to my channel and if you're new you should definitely subscribe because of my whole vibe okay period so as you can tell by the title i'm gonna be doing an updated video on how i package and ship my orders i was actually getting ready to ship out these wigs and i'm like you know what let me make an updated video that's why i look busty y'all i've been working all day bear with me but i'm gonna let you guys know where i get everything from how i do everything is pretty simple i'm also going to show you guys how i package my wigs now and i'm gonna ask you guys to give me some advice on a couple of things so we just we're gonna get right into it okay normally i actually don't package on my wigs right here but i needed you guys to see what was going on before we do that i have two package one two three four wigs really quickly now i'm gonna insert a clip of how i pretty much keep track of what wigs are which so i know whose wig is whose i'm not shipping anybody the wrong wig i have like a little system so i bought like a little clothing rack if you've seen one of my last vlogs you know and i put the it'll be all in the video but i put the little plastic that my wigs come with because i do customize factory made wigs i no longer make wigs because i just don't enjoy doing it and it's way too much to do with the amount of orders that i get so yeah my wigs come with a little bag you know let you know the inch the type of wig it is and i keep that attached to each clip that's how i keep track of the wigs so this one right here is actually a 28 inch body wave wig this is my sasha wig and this is actually all that this customer ordered now i recently just started using the nets because everybody was telling me like why aren't you using the nets like use the nets just so the wig is not just in a box y'all i'm learning as i go i'm learning as i go i didn't i didn't think the nets were necessary but i do see why people use the nets so now i use the nets i'm in like awkward position right now <laughs> but usually put the hair in the net i feel like this looks so awkward <laughs> i am thinking about adding um pin curls to my website so if anyone wants a week to come pin curls i'm thinking about adding that as an option to my site thinking about it my boxes you guys should know my boxes by now if you're new here so a lot of people want to know where i get my boxes from from a vendor on alibaba.com and i know i'm good for putting y'all on to vendors let me know if y'all want to know the exact vendor where i got my boxes from let me know let me let y'all know it was very expensive it was very like extremely expensive so if it's not an investment that you're ready to make i would not recommend getting these boxes i think you have to order minimum a thousand yeah so if you're if you are interested subscribe and let me know that you want a video of me um going over my box vendor how i went about contacting them what you guys need to know before you order so let me know if y'all want a whole video you gotta subscribe for that though period but yeah my boxes I'll go ahead and I take my holographic paper. I get this from papermart.com. Now I have, I have these satin bags here with my old logo. My vendor sent me a whole bunch of free satin bags just because I spent a certain amount of money. He gave me these bags for free and I'm like, why not give them to my customers? The rest are gonna be sitting here. So even though it's my old logo, I've been using it recently, but here's a question. Let me know what y'all think. Do you guys think I should do both the satin bag and the box, one or the other? Like, what you think? Because once these run out, because they gave me, oh, they gave me a good amount. But once these run out, I'm like, should I bring back the satin bags? I don't really know. Because it's definitely expensive to do both. Mm, what should I do? And if I bring back satin bags, maybe just without the logo since this has my logo and everything on it let me know what y'all think but for now like i said since they're here i've been putting these recent orders in these satin bags so here is the wig if you don't know my wigs come pre-plucked the not set bleach they come styled so you can just put it on and go my closure wigs can be worn glueless just in case you didn't know and i offer payment plans on my site so This is all the customer ordered, like I said. And then I will go ahead and put my thank you card and my business card. Mm -hmm. Thank you cards are from Etsy. People ask me all the time from Etsy. 
business cards from Etsy. Just search clear business card. A whole bunch of people do it. Um, yeah. So this is normally what I put in here. But y'all, this is my last thank you card. <laughs> if you've been following me, you know that sales have been really slow. So the last thing on my mind has been to buy business cards. Like it, the money just isn't here financially. So <laughs> I ran out of business cards. It's unfortunate. It happens. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I'm pretty sure they're more excited about the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead, close the box up. Boom. Mm -hmm. I get my boxes from papermart.com. This is a 12 by eight by six box and it fits my 10 by eight by four boxes perfectly. I think this is 10 by eight by four. With a little bit of extra space on the size. This is what it's looking like for reference. So then I'm gonna go ahead and package it up. Finally got me one of these little gun thingies because I needed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up. Okay. And then I go to my iPad. I pretty much do everything for my iPad. I'm gonna put their name on the box. And we, if I do it this way, I'm gonna put the initials where I'm gonna put the label, obviously, so AA. It's not the cutest, but. All right, so this is the next week. I'm gonna put like a video on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like on a mannequin head, all cute. Um, I purposely took videos beforehand for y'all so y'all can see. But, yeah, once again, I'm gonna put this over it. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've really been trying to figure out like how I wanna package my wigs. Like there's so many different ways to do it. And I'm like, which one is best? Which, which one should I do? So it's like I have the boxes, but then some people are like, what happened to the satin bags? And I'm just like, ugh, you know? Okay, so. Once again, going in with my holographic paper. Just gonna put it in here. And I told y'all that was my last thank you card. So it was just gonna be business cards for right now. Also, I usually put combs in the boxes when I'm packaging wigs. I haven't done that in a while because I ran out of combs. When I tell y'all, if you've been following me, sales were so slow. So there's no money to stock up on inventory when you gotta pay bills, you know what I'm saying? When sales are frequent and they're flowing, you got money for bills, you got money to stock up on inventory, you got money to save. It's not like that when sales slow down. That's why I be trying to tell people, like, don't let the followers, the likes, nothing, don't let none of that fool you into thinking that once certain business owners get to a certain point that it's just smooth sailing, it's just good. Cause it's not, we're still in a pandemic. It's not. So I like to tell y'all things like this. So like when sales are slowing down, sales still aren't the best right now, but I can't complain. Like I just finished customizing. Today I've been customizing like 15 wigs. So that's like 15, 16 orders that I've been customizing. But even when sales are slow, you don't have money to get inventory. So that's why I haven't been adding the combs anymore. The combs were just my touch. You know, some people add um, the caps some people add wig caps some people add combs some people add a whole bunch of stuff bonnets so yeah, that's why that's why i haven't been adding my combs let me make sure that this person didn't order anything else it's all they ordered so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the box when i put this shirt on today i was like oh i gotta bring it up in this video y'all see what it say right the season is approaching, so y'all need to get ready for the vlogs because, hmm, hmm, it's approaching. It's approaching. That's why we gotta get these orders going. So, gotta get these orders going so your girl can have a good birthday. Okay, and put this person's initials. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the box to the side and we're gonna keep pushing on to the next wig i haven't even been telling y'all the name of the wigs okay so the first wig was sasha the black one was sasha okay um that was the 28 inch sasha wig i think i did mention that the one before this one was a 12 inch buttercup this one is a 
22 inch 4x4 closure buttercup wig uh once again i'm pretty sure you guys have seen a video on the screen that's what everything looks like go ahead and put it in the box oh look at me business card oh what yeah i'm so used to packaging the wigs just like this i keep forgetting about the satin bag did i put the other one in the satin bag y'all i'm gonna have to watch the footage back i hope i did my memory is not here at all i've been doing here since like six o'clock this morning it is almost three o'clock in the afternoon yeah. Jordan, you're so And I'm pretty sure since I'm doing a satin bag, I probably don't have to use a net. But so this wig right here i kind of already did the whole process because this customer wanted her wig packaged on tiktok so it's pretty much done um i printed out the label and everything so i'll insert the tiktok if i post it before i edit this video and then the last two orders that i'm packaging today are accessories so they look like they're both bonnets no, one, no, one is a hair care box and one order is for bonnet. So bonnet order was placed first. We're gonna do that one first. Let me show y'all what I'm seeing. So for those of you guys that don't know, I have Shopify. So that's pretty much what it looks like. This customer ordered a black satin bonnet and a brown extra large bonnet. So I have regular size bonnets and extra large bonnets. If you've been watching me for a while, I pretty much packaged these the exact same way. I, I still open the bonnet. Up. Uh, bonnets are reversible and adjustable. If you don't know, go get you a bonnet. Okay, so open it up. And then she wants the extra large brown bonnet. So I still be trying to figure out if I should leave it in the plastic or not. I don't know, but I just feel like when it comes in a plastic, eh. So these extra large ones are adjustable and reversible as well. Business card, put it in there. And then I put it in my poly mailer just like this. I haven't had to restock um, on poly mailers in a while. Sometimes I get my poly mailers on papermart.com and sometimes I'll get them on Etsy, it just depends. They actually ordered this today and I'm going to ship it out today. I don't like to let my order sit if I don't have to. So obviously my wigs, they take some time. But for people that would like accessories and stuff, I usually ship it out the same day or the next day. So she ordered a lace melt band. Go get you one. Period. And then she ordered a hair care box. So for anyone that doesn't know, hair care boxes come with a satin pillowcase, a satin bonnet, a scrunchie, and a comb. I do want to add more to hair care boxes, but I will need to restock my inventory first. Like I'm thinking about adding headbands. I'm thinking about adding more stuff, but I don't want to launch it. And I don't have the inventory to back it up when people start ordering right now. I literally have a whole bunch of pillowcases, bonnets. So we're going to keep it the way it is until it's time to up, re up on inventory. So pillowcase. bonnets scrunchies and a glitter comb 
ran out of the clear glitter combs. It will usually be a clear glitter comb with this set, but I only have gold, pink, and blue. So y'all yeah, really need to re-up. This is how my boxes are when they're in, <laughs> before they're folded. Go ahead and put my business card in here. What am I doing? I'm gonna add her lace milk band. Go get you one. Can be found under accessories on my website. Okay, so when it comes to the shipping labels, I have my pink scale that I got from Amazon. But I usually don't weigh certain things because I know the weight off the top of my head. I've been doing it for so long. For example, if someone orders one bonnet, that's usually two ounces. When someone orders wigs, it's usually between like 28 and 35 ounces. Sometimes I will double check. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna show you what I do. I obviously package the oldest orders first. So the oldest order right now is, so let me go find it, let me find it. This is it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my scale. Like I said, I got it from Amazon. For the most part, I know where like the weight is gonna be around. So we're gonna say 29 ounces, let's see. 29 and it's 30. They don't kill you if you're like an ounce off or you know. So I'll go to my orders. Once I go to my orders, I'm gonna try not to show you guys her personal information, obviously. So, okay, so this is what I'm looking at. I scroll down after all her shipping information and I'm gonna press Let's create shipping label. Once I do that, I have my box already programmed in here. So as you can see, it says brown box. You can automatically save your packaging just so you're not putting the measurements over and over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead, below the measurement, you can put the total weight. So below the measurement, you see you can put the total weight. I went ahead and put 30 and then that's it. That's it, like below that, it just says shipping date and do you want your customer to get their email notification now? And yes, I want them to get their notification and stuff now. So, and it's gonna ship out today. So I don't need to change that shipping date, but if I wanted to ship it out like tomorrow, or later on in a week, I would change the shipping date. I'm gonna press continue the shipping label. This is like a new update Shopify has. So now on this page, you can choose how you wanna ship. Recently, I've been shipping with USPS Priority Mail and knock on wood, I haven't had any problems with two day shipping Priority Mail. So I'm gonna continue to use it and see how things go. If you've been following me you know, in the past, me and probably every other business owner on the planet has had a problem with USPS. Hope I didn't say UPS, USPS. But so far, Priority Mail has been really good. So that's what I've been using. But for all of my international orders, I still use UPS. We're not trusting USPS with no international orders. So I went ahead, bought the shipping label, and now I'm just going to print it out. Pretty much it. I print out on a regular printer. I did buy the Dymo label printer, the 4XL one, whichever one that is. I bought the Dymo label printer. I ended up returning it because I didn't realize that you couldn't really use it without a laptop. I don't have a laptop. I do everything on my iPad and you can't use a Dymo with the iPad. You need like an actual computer or a laptop. And I wasn't about to go buy a laptop where my printer does the work just fine. So I returned my label printer and I've still been using a printer. And this is the brand of shipping label paper that I use. You can see it better over here. So in my opinion, I'd rather use a printer. Um, obviously, there's downsides. You would have to get ink and all of that stuff. But it just didn't make sense financially for me to buy a laptop because I don't need a laptop. I won't use a laptop. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish adding the labels and then I'll be back when I'm done. All right, y'all. So that's everything. Everything is packaged, ready to go. About to be on my way to the post office, y'all. I'm tired. Like I said, I did all of those wigs today. Washed and bleached the knots and plucked the hairline of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve wigs today. I dragged it earlier when I said 16, but it felt like about 16, okay? Then I had to finish up these wigs. So like flat iron them and um all of that extra stuff. Uh, my process is, if you don't know, my process is I wash them, bleach the knots, and pluck the hairline. And then I will leave them on the clothing rack to dry because I don't like blow drying my wigs. I'd rather have them air dry unless I'm in a rush. Let them air dry and then I style them the following day or whenever they're dry, I style them. So 
today was a styling day and a customization day so it was a lot but i was able to get some footage for y'all so that's pretty much it y'all about to go to the post office hopefully i enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one hey.